crazy wild team here, Seattle. And um, that was a game we picked in the pigskin pickoff. They were at Buffalo. You know, I thought that cross-country flight early game would be tough for them. And, and that was part of it. But the, the bigger part was their horrible defense. I tell you what, they made Josh Allen look like a superstar. Now, he's having a nice season. He is having a really good season. But they haven't but it, stopped anybody all no, year. I no. mean, let's just be honest. I, I no, just, they're, they're horrible. And they're giving up. I mean, you talk about what they haven't stopped. They're on record pace. They are, like, about to obliterate some records. So here, here's what they're doing. Um, they have given up. They, they give up 400. Where are these? Numbers? 456 yards a game. Think about that. You're giving up 456 yards a game. That's only the most in NFL history. That would normally get a defensive coordinator fired during the season. Seriously. Right, right. Absolutely. And um, they're averaging, opponents are averaging 30.4 points against them. That's in the bottom quarter of the NFL. And um, they're just atrocious. I mean, like I said, Josh Allen, 415 yards, four touchdowns. Threw for three, I believe, ran for another one. Looked great. Looked great. But like you said, Seattle hadn't stopped anybody. So what I want to say is this, and maybe you'll just go. I mean, you picked the Saints to get to the Super Bowl in the preseason. Obviously, they're coming off this huge win over Tampa Bay. Where do you think of the NFC? I asked Jared Bell this. Is it, do you think it's like, do you feel like the Saints have distanced themselves from the rest of the pack, or you still think? even if you think they're the top team, it's very close. You got Green Bay there. You got Tampa Bay. You got um, Seattle still. I mean, you know, and then Arizona. I, I, I'm going to say you know. something, though. I, I, I'm, ruling, I'm ruling Seattle out. Seattle's out of the picture until further notice for me. I, I don't believe that – I. At, I don't believe they can win anything with that defense. I, I don't I don't care I don't care I mean, about the numbers even Superman. with Russell Wilson and you saw he he's turning the ball over a lot now, right? Trying to force the issue, right? He has to make every play because the defense can't stop anybody. So he's not playing as well as he was playing and I bet you he's he's now into the situation of forcing stuff. But Chris, no defense playing the way that they play. Once you get, you might be able, remember, they were like 6-0, and weren't they? They won their first six games, and they had escaped. Right. I don't think playing better teams, you're going to escape and play that role. So I'm, I'm eliminating Seattle as of right now from the NFC. I do not believe that they can compete with the better teams in a big game with the way the defense is playing right now. Yeah, do I think they'll get to the Super Bowl? I would say they – they. I would certainly not pick them. My pick was Tampa. New Orleans obviously looks great right now. They got to, they're got they riding high. And Green Bay's still around. Um, but I think Seattle is certainly capable of spoiling it for somebody else. Like, I, I, I think they can win a playoff game, um, maybe two. I wouldn't pick them to get to the Super Bowl, but – they're dangerous just because of Russell Wilson. And and that's the shame of it. And we've seen it for years with Aaron Rodgers, Rob. I, I just think they're resting a bit on their laurels. And it's it's ironic that when you finally get your offense together, and, and DK Metcalf is a weapon, the type of weapon that Russell hasn't had in, you know, maybe throughout his career. He's had some good receivers, but Metcalf is special. He hasn't really had that, but now your defense is failing. And Pete Carroll hasn't really had bad defenses there in Seattle for the most part, and that is failing them. So I, I'm with you that, that that is so problematic when you just can't stop anybody uh, that it's hard to believe fully in them. I assume you're writing off Tampa Bay, so do you think it's Green Bay and New Orleans? Uh, right now, those are the two teams that I, I would think are going to duke it out for the NFC. I think those will be the two standing. And, uh, you know, I picked the Saints. I'm going to stick with my pick right now. Uh, Green Bay beat them earlier this year, Chris. 
That game was in New Orleans where they where Green Bay hadn't won in years. Right. Uh, they hadn't won, and they went down there and they won. And um, but I'm gonna stick with with uh, New Orleans. Uh, they impressed me last night only from the standpoint that they didn't have their best receiver for all season. They've they've gone through their little things. They've you know pulled out a few games. They lost a couple games. They haven't been like all buttoned up, you know, like last year when they were really good. Right, but but they're right where they need to be, and and they're one. Uh, Jared Bell brought it up. Tom Brady was brought in right to beat the Saints. That's the big bad Saints. Those are the guys, and they beat Brady and the Bucks both times, and that doesn't happen very often. You know what I mean? Like well, you Brady's split. never lost. Uh, he's never been swept. Now, granted, he was in AFC East, but he's never been swept in his career. So you know what I'm saying? That's huge, right? Yeah, they the thing to watch, and we've we've seen this the last couple of years, Rob. What what is going to happen to Drew Brees as the season goes on? You know, you've talked about Brady, and obviously, when you're older, it, you know, you, you never know what can happen. But the last few years, at about the twelve game mark, he's fallen off badly. And you wonder is that going to happen again? That's something definitely to watch for. Um, Green Bay, I think a lot of it's going to depend on the matchups. You know, not that Tampa, just because they they handle Green Bay easily the first game doesn't mean they would do it if they meet in the playoffs. But uh, I think matchups is a big part of this. Um, Green Bay has had trouble with physical teams. San Francisco last year, Tampa Bay this year, but then Tampa Bay – Go plays New Orleans and they they get manhandled. You know they get run off the field. They look soft and and just completely outclassed. So I think a lot of it will come down to matchups. But I tell you what, it, it's getting interesting in the NFC. Obviously, you can write off the NFC East. But I'll but I'll say this too. I think Drew Brees was suspect to me until last night. Like I've I've watched him and the Dinkin and the Duncan and his arm strength. He looked good to me last night. Like, like he, like he's still got it. Well, it, I walked I guess away. It, it, I walked away feeling better about his ability than I had in previous weeks. Because I watched that Green Bay every snap. I didn't think he looked that good. He was okay. Uh, and I've seen some other games where where they've just barely gotten by, and he hasn't been that impressive. But I was impressed last night. Well, it helps to get back your top receiver. That's for darn sure, Michael Thomas. And even if Thomas isn't catching the ball, he's certainly drawing attention. You know what I mean? So that opens things up. And, again, I don't know. I just don't understand why Todd Bowles went zone so much because you just shouldn't do that against Breeze. You knew he can pick that apart, and he did. That's exactly what he did. And um, But, yeah, I, I, I look, Breeze has looked – like you said, he hasn't lit the world on fire this year, but he's been without so many of his weapons. But I, I want to watch what I'm looking for is what does he look like down the stretch? Because I think you even have to admit that he is he has struggled like the last quarter of the season right? Or, or really about 12 games in, you know, the last few years. So we'll see. But look, I, I don't think there's a world beater out there in the NFC. So it is open. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. It, I'll be curious. I bet you that probably most people are going to say the Saints only coming – Prisoner well, of the moment, off coming win, off of right. last night, right? You got to feel good about it. People were high on Brady and, and the Bucks after after the last win they had, right? After the, what was it? Right. Not the Giants. Well, win, when they the win beat Green that. Bay. When they beat Green yeah, Bay. Yeah, or after that, yeah. right, right. If you went from there. Uh, so I, I'm curious to see what people say.